From 1988 to 2002, a series of brutal homicides took place in Baiyan and Baotu City, China. Eleven women would lose their lives to an evil man named Gao Changyong. He would break into their homes and attack them with knives, and in some cases restrain them with ropes so he could commit evil acts against them, before ransacking their homes for valuables and money. His victims ranged from 8 years old to 29, making the crimes even more despicable. After he was caught, his wife would say that Gao disappeared for periods of time, but since he always came back with money, she assumed he was working during these absences. What makes these crimes so horrific is the level of brutality involved. Gao would mutilate his victims, removing body parts and organs, which is why he earned the nickname, the Chinese Jack the Ripper. Gao Changyong was born on the 10th of November 1964 in Yuhong County in Gansu, China. He grew up in King Chang in the northeast portion of the country. Gao was considered a good but emotionally distant boy who had to care for his father after he was paralyzed. The boy had wanted to grow up and be a pilot, but these dreams were shattered for what he would claim were political reasons. Even after this disappointment, Gao seemed to be set to lead a respectable life, getting married in the 80s and settling down in Baiyin. The first of his two sons was born in 1988, but this would also be the year he began the reign of terror that he would become known for. Based on his first homicide, it seems that he had been stalking young women long before this. Authorities would say that he targeted young women who were wearing red and who lived alone. On May 26, 1988, a hundred years since Jack the Ripper terrorized London, 34-year-old Gao perpetrated a heinous crime against a 23-year-old woman named Bai Ji, whom he had followed home from the grocery store he ran. She was attacked at her home in Bai Yin. Her throat had been slashed and her clothing had been pushed up to expose her breasts, and she was naked from the waist down. Much like the original Jack the Ripper had done, Gao stabbed her repeatedly in the torso. The autopsy would identify more than two dozen stab wounds. Perhaps this first homicide was due to the stress of being a new father, but the removal of Miss Bai's clothing points to a sexual motive. In any case, Gao would not strike again for more than six years. However, many of his subsequent crimes would be even more brutal. In July of 1994, he would attack again in a similar manner, but in this case he stabbed his young victim, 19-year-old Shi Jun, 36 times. Some of his victims were not stabbed, such as the 21-year-old Li Na. On March 28, 1997, Gao traveled out of his normal stalking grounds to Bao Tu. She was found tied up and stripped from the waist down with a broom shoved in her mouth. There were also traces of sexual assault. This residue left behind would be one of the major ways that investigators were able to identify Gao as their suspect years later. But he was able to commit many more atrocities before he was stopped. In 1998 alone, he would commit four vicious homicides. Gao would not only strangle or slash these later victims' throats, he would begin removing body parts, truly earning the nickname the Chinese Jack the Ripper. For his first homicide of the year on January 13th, Gao removed a flap of skin from the top of a 29-year-old woman named Yang Jia's head, as well as her ears. Less than a week later on the 19th, he broke into a 27-year-old woman named Dang Yan's home. In this case, he once again slashed her throat, and then in what seems like a frenzy of bloodlust, Gao chewed off her left nipple and removed a piece of skin measuring over a foot long and nine and a half inches wide from her back. On July 30th, 1998, he broke into a home and came across an eight-year-old child named Yao Yafen. The creature strangled the poor girl and hid her body in a closet. Once again, he left biological residue on her remains. Gao had finished the year with his most horrific crime yet. On November 30th, he broke into the home of a 23-year-old named Kui Jingping. Not only did he stab her nearly two dozen times, but he also removed her hands, breasts, and genitals. This is how she would later be discovered by her own mother. This heinous act seems to have satisfied the creature's evil impulses, and it would be almost two years before he took another life. On November 20th of the year 2000, Gao broke into the home of 28-year-old Luo Lu Yang. He once again cut his victim's throat and removed her hands. There would not be another year as bloody as 1998. However, in May of 2001, Chang Yang would commit two homicides back to back. The first was on May 22nd when he broke into the home of a 27-year-old nurse named Zhang Jing. Gao tied the young woman up before stabbing her 16 times in the neck. Unsatisfied, he was on the prowl the very next day. 
He entered a buy-in hotel, where he repeated the same process as the day before, using rope to incapacitate a 21-year-old named Chang Lin before stabbing her to death. Just over a year later, Gao Chang Young would once again enter a buy-in hotel with criminal intent. 28-year-old Su Ting was staying on the third floor of the hotel when the creature attacked her. Gao strangled her until she was unconscious before assaulting her, then stabbing her. Somehow Chinese authorities did not connect these 11 crimes until 2004, despite their similarities in close proximity to one another. As is sometimes the case with ideologically motivated governments, such crimes are concealed. Such as the Soviet Union, where serial homicide was considered a result of capitalist decadence. This approach allowed a monster like Andrei Chikatilo to take several dozen lives as authorities were reluctant to admit that such a thing was happening in their communist paradise. In the case of Gao Cheng Yong in China, a reward of roughly $25,000 was offered in 2004 for his capture, but this reward did not result in an arrest. Authorities had little to go on aside from the DNA evidence he had left behind. Everything changed in the investigation in the year 2016, 14 years after the last homicide. As has happened with other cases in recent years, a routine DNA swab of a family member showed a familial match to the killer sought by police. Cheng Yong's uncle was arrested, and as he was processed, a sample of his DNA was collected, showing similarities to the killer. After reviewing the uncle's family members, investigators soon descended on the now 52-year-old Gao at the grocery store he ran on August 26, 2016. The methods used by interrogators were effective, and he soon confessed to all 11 homicides. On March 18, 2018, the creature was sentenced to be executed. This sentence was carried out on January 3, 2019.